has to be dropped. He has to be dropped. Because if you, if you don't drop him, like, for me, if you don't drop him and if the club don't find him upon Sari's request, if yeah. he does do that, you have to leave. Right. Like, what is your actual role if you can't manage your team? You're the, you're the, you're the manager. It's a bit extreme, bro, man. Kyle! You That's can't tell your team what to do. No, but next time, he, he breaks his first his, his team sheet mm. for the Spurs game. Kepa's not on there. Kepa's like, no, I'm playing. Like, who makes the decisions now? Mm. Talking about the League Cup, mm. we had a exciting incident. It's not even an exciting game because Man City, obviously Chelsea, FA, uh, League, League Cup final, Carabao mm. Cup final mm. at Wembley, nil nil. Um, Man City won on penalties, but the big talking point, of course, we have to talk about it, is Sari versus Kepa, mm. and. You think you say Sari versus Kepa? You think they're oppositions? You know they they fight against each other. They were literally fighting against each other, but on the set on the same team. Uh, I'm sure everyone's watched it or at least seen the incident because like, I also gave my take on it. For me, I, I didn't. I wasn't watching the game live, by the way, um, and I saw the incident. I watched the whole. There was like a two, three minute clip, like just of the whole incident with the the Sky Sports commentary. I believe it was, and. I was looking at it like, this is disgusting. Like, this is absolutely disgusting. Mm. Like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, how is Kepa... The worst part about it is, Sari was fuming. Mm. Like, it wasn't even a case of, oh, uh, I want to take you know him off the... the uh, no, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good to play, I'm good to play. Mm. All right, all right, stay on. No, for that whole, like, two minutes, he was... Few men want him to come, want him to come off. Mm. I don't understand to this to this day what, how he did not to come this off. Day. <laughs> to this day, I don't understand how he didn't come off. Because uh, for those who haven't seen the incident, I'm sure you have. Well, you can check it on YouTube. Uh, Kepa's gone down twice with cramp. Um, apparently, I don't think he had cramp at all because I mean he hasn't done anything all game. But he's gone down twice <laughs> with cramp. Um, and 120 minutes, bro. Of what? Standing. Mm? Diving around. I've been on the journey. Stretching himself on, out. On virgin, virgin trains longer than that. And I ain't going down holding my leg. I mean, when you finish, you kind of, you know, struggling to feel your legs. But you ain't, you ain't going down with cramp. But anyway, he's gone down a couple of times. Sari's called for Caballero to come on. Personally, I think it was a tactical decision. Um, anyway, because we know Caballero has um, previous of, well, winning the League Cup. Mm. Was it, it was against Liverpool when he, uh, they went on a penalty shootout um, at Wembley. He saved a couple of penalties. And one, that's first, he's also played for Man City, mm. so he may know and have a, you know, some more insight into the Man City players, their, their penalty techniques, etc., and, you know, where they decide to go. And thirdly, it's maybe it's a, it's a bit of um, mind games. Mm. Oh, we're changing the keeper because he knows what he's doing, and, mm. and it puts doubt in the Man City player's mind because, like, oh, they're changing the keeper. Mm. What? What is it that they, you know they got something planned for us kind of thing? But Kepa's ignored all that. No, no, not coming, not coming. A wave finger to to the um, to the manager, everything like that. Sari and Zola's come out, come over to the fourth official. Um, John Moss has gone to the player with David Luiz, gone back to the manager, and then he kind of just signaled like no subs happening. By then, his names, were, his numbers already come from the board, mm. but he ain't coming off. Uh, John Moss, no subs happening. Sari's walked back to the um, the technical area, or the sorry, the the seat, the seats, the coaching seats, and Cabrera doesn't to sit that down. But he's fuming. He's telling no Cabrera mm. to get on. I think there must be some kind of mm. miscommunication at that point because John Moss is basically saying, "Okay, no subs happening from that discussion." But Sari is basically saying, "No, that subs happening. Get back on. Get back on." Um, and so Cabrera is a bit confused. In the end, the sub didn't happen. Sari is about to walk down the tunnel. Um, comes back in the end. Penalty issue happens. Kepa saves one. Should have probably saved another. Man City lose. I'm oh, sorry, Chelsea lose. Where does Sari go from here? Like, mm. what is this? What's his role at Chelsea if he can't even make a simple substitution <laughs> on the pitch? Mm. For me. Um, you have to drop Kepa if you're going to show any sort of authority going forward from this 
against Tottenham this Wednesday. Big game, yeah. Race for the top four, yeah. Have to drop him. You have to show that you're you're in charge, and you couldn't show it at that time on the pitch for whatever reason. Um, Kev might be kept didn't let you or whatever, but you you couldn't you couldn't initiate your authority then on the pitch. So for you coming out and apologising for the for what's happened or whatever doesn't cut. You got to show mm. that this is actually this is what your decision was. Your decision was to bring on someone else, and your player weren't having it, um, and. You've, you've just let it pass. I don't. I don't necessarily feel like it was tactical, because with five minutes to go, yes, there was a sub remaining, but Caballero didn't start warming up until Kepa initially went down with cramp. Initially, um, so it made me. So he kind of as soon as he went down, yeah, he said warm up, and then play carried on again. Like play continued again, and then he got cramp again, mm. and that's when the decision was made to bring him on. And that point. He literally just about to hit 30 minutes, so stop return nearly up. I feel like if it was, he may have made a decision a little bit earlier, he may have looked like it was prepared. And also, for me, if I was manager, and I, that was what my thinking would have been going in, I may have just made Kepper aware, personally, that this might, I'm going to change the goalkeeper. Maybe you don't, you don't have to. Yeah, because have to. the World Cup, uh, Van Gaal did yeah. it with uh, Sillison and yeah. Tim Crew, mm. but Sillison was visibly mm. upset and annoyed. Yeah. That he was getting subbed yeah, off. Yeah. So and in that situation, it didn't look like yeah. previous discussion would happen. Yeah. It's like, why are you taking me off? So mm-hmm. it's near. Yeah, it's not necessary that. Yeah, but I feel like if that was me as a manager going into the cup, going in, especially going into extra time, mm. and I had, it was in my mind, I would have just yeah, said, yeah. Look, "There's a chance, you know, Caballero, Man City, like I might be, you know, what I mean, I might do it. I don't know that. Just to at least maybe, and like I said, the decision may not have been made until later or whatever. But if that was his thinking, I would have said it. But. Um, and as I said, I said it in the, in the review of the game. Where is your captain? Mm. Who is your captain? Is mm. Aspilicueta actually your captain? Apparently, because if he's your captain, <laughs> he needs to be there, making sure the keeper gets off the pitch. And for me, <laughs> it's not going to happen. But you have every right to strip off the captaincy for that for that yeah. moment alone because you he needs to be the instigator between you and him. Yeah. David Luiz was there, John Moss was there, but your captain was nowhere to be seen. Aspilicueta said after the game. I was on the other side of the pitch. I didn't see it. I don't like like as if he wasn't even aware. Like he knows his responsibility. Yeah. Well, make yourself yeah, aware. Go over to that. Even if it was Terry and Rewa's captain, I said, get there. Yeah, yeah. Make your make like make this happen. Like he, the board's gone up. The man said chose his substitution, <laughs> and he just paused, and nothing else happened. <laughs> like because no one knew what was going on. It's embarrassing. Like mm. so for me, he has to. Sorry, he's got a lot of work to do with his team. He needs to go in and he needs to address it. And look, people, well, I think actually, I think. Internally with the players, it should be done by now. By the yeah. time we talk about it, this should all be done. You should have made him away. You should have said, "Listen, it's this don't this don't run with me. I don't. I'm not having it. You're, you're, I'm dropping." He has to be dropped. He has to be dropped. Because if you, if you don't drop him, like for me, if you don't drop him, and if the club don't find him upon Sari's request, if yeah. he does do that, you have to leave. Hmm. Like, what is your actual role if you can't manage your team? Hmm. You're the you're the you're the manager. That's a bit extreme, bro, man. You can't tell your no, team but, what to do. No, so the next time but, he, he breaks his first his, his team sheet mm. for the Spurs game, Kepa's not on there. Kepa's like, no, I'm playing. Like, who makes the decisions now? Mm. Is Kepa's Kepa right, right on the team no, sheet? And now? it's not like that's no, the you're only saying that, right? But like we're, but we're, no, but we're speculating. Like, you, you can't you can't speculate. Like, you don't actually know the reason why he wanted to do the substitution. Oh, wait. It doesn't matter the matter. reason. It doesn't matter the reason, but he wanted to do it. The board was up. And at the point of it not happening, he still wanted to do it. No, but listen. No, but listen. There's, there's two scenarios. He could have been at the start of the game in his mind. He knows if this goes to penalties, <coughs> I'm going to bring on Willie. Mm-hmm. And he may, that like Ramon said, he may or he might not have said anything mm. to Kepa. If he did, maybe this wouldn't have happened. If the, if that was the reason why he wanted yeah. to sub him off. Mm. Um, and if he didn't, you can understand why he might have said, what, what, wait. Why am I coming off? No, I don't want to come off. But if it was due to injury and it was his cramp, the reason why he wanted to bring him off, and he was letting the manager know that no, I'm 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 good to go. He might have been thinking, I'm just trying to waste a few more minutes to get into penalties. I'm yeah. um, about conceding. Um, no manager, I'm good to go. I'm not injured. We're good to go. If it was due to injury, you don't need to drop him. If the manager if the manager if the manager then saw it. after that that he was fine but Kyle, there's he, no need to find him there's no need to drop him for the next game but, like but we but don't John, know the reason John Moss and David Luiz spoke to Kepa 
at least John Moss, I don't mean David Lee went over, but John Moss went over to um, Sari mm. and Jafar Kazola, relaying, obviously, the conversation that he's had with yeah. After that, Sari still wanted to make the substitution. Mm. So whatever, whatever, whether he was fit or not, whether it was tactical or not, regardless, he kept us, I mean, Sari still wanted to make a substitution. Mm. That doesn't matter. So, so he, he obviously wasn't satisfied with whatever, whatever John Moss said to him. Mm. It does not matter what Kepa's reasoning is. It doesn't. Staying on that pitch. If the number's up, you get off the pitch. <laughs> that bad. is it. That is it. Also, the physios came on the pitch to treat him. They spoke to him on the microphone. They then walked to the bench and retold Sorry what they thought of the incident. The trained doctor said they may have said he's fine to carry on. And then they went back to sit down. And he still wanted to take him off. So you listen to your physio, you listen to John Moss, and your 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 final decision is, okay, cool, thanks for that, take him off. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> for, you know the information. I don't, I don't need to know what was said. I can I feel like I feel like I feel like I feel like we're only here because Chelsea lost. If he had pulled it off, no, and, no, and no, Chelsea no. And, and Chelsea had won, the guy comes out a hero. And, no, he might, and, he might and, do. And we're not here. No, but the difference is. But the point is, we're, we're not. Here. We're, no, no, we, we're I think we, we are still here. Like, yeah. like, like, we are. Like, kind. like if, that if it says has no, 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 if it says in the rule book that a player can refuse to come off and play must go on. Yeah. What's the problem? The man. The, the problem is where. Who has now the authority in the dressing room? That is the problem. Yeah. That's where we are. So, the, my, so my going, is so what, going forward, what, what Sari said, has our come up? Mm-hmm. Has, nah, 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 nah. I'm bringing it off. I'm yeah, good. No, the reason, why, do, no, no, the reason <laughs> why I say that, right? Because if it is not, no, like, if it was like. like, like where, no. And it's only done at school. Like, no. Where do we go from there? No, no. If it's like, if it's like, say for instance, right? Oh, I know it's a bit, I know it's a bit extreme, but let's say, for example, um, Salah Champions League final goes down. <laughs> Hurts his shoulder, tries to play on, can't, ends up coming off. But if it turns out that he's all right, he's still moving a bit gingerly, but he thinks that he's all right and he can play on, he can play on and do his thing. But the manager goes, no, come off. I'm going to bring Shakiri or whoever on for you, mm. storage or whatever. I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring on a replacement. He comes to that. No, 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 no. I, I can do this. I can do this. And he refuses. That should be allowed. If the player feels that they can go, that should be allowed. No. If it's a tactical substitution, no. like no, it you're you're not you're not playing no. you're not playing good enough. No. I've got yeah. I've, I've got to change the tactics no. because we need to win this game. Then you come off. If you're getting hauled off because the manager thinks that you're injured and you you can't do the job good if enough. If the manager accepts your reason, no, I'm fit, and he says, "Cool, carry on." That's fine. But Sari was not happy. That's, yeah. If if Sari after speaking to John Moss. Said, all right, cool, you know, stay on. Then, then that's for me. That's fine. Mm. But he didn't. After that, Kyle, he's 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 he like rips open his uh, his top because he's so mad, and he's still telling. Yeah. Cause Cabrera, Cabrera got about to sit down at the top of the um the the sub bench or whatever. He's telling him to get back on. I think he then does he sit down first? I can't remember. I think he might sit down. Then gets up, fuming, and goes to walk down the tunnel after. John Moss already explained what Kepa said. So, the, for me, that's different to a manager accepting a player's, uh, yeah. Yeah. you know, reason. He say, "All right, cool, you're carry, you're good to carry on." Mm. And they might, and then he might even say, "No, no, he's not good enough. He's not running as much, or whatever. Let me take him off." Mm. But for me, it looks like 100% Sari still wanted Kepa to come off. Mm. And then even when after the penalty, no, sorry, before the penalty shootout. He still looked vis- yeah. uh, visibly he didn't, annoyed. He didn't, he didn't go over to the team. And he, you know, he, just he spoke to Rudiger first. Yeah. He was, um, but he didn't go over Rudiger. to the team huddle no. until just before the penalty kicked. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was vexed. He, of course he was. Mm. <laughs> of course he was. And that's what makes me believe. It might not be, but Man that's just not always tactical. right, innit? Mm. Man just not always and right. I know, he, I know he could have made a substitution after. That's what the commentator said. Apparently, the commentator was saying after extra time before the penalty I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm not sure it could have. For me, the game's. Over yeah. FIFA, you can't do that. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> but if he could have, I said FIFA. I but I would understand at that point why he wouldn't, because if if he could have, because for me the game was done. Mm. Um, all right, you go into the same team that you had the penalty. You go to the penalty at the same mm. team that finished the pitch. Um, you know, Cabrera didn't, didn't even get a chance to. I don't know, take a take a go kick or yeah. take. A, I don't know where the ball was at, at the time, but I don't know. Like for me, it's sorry. 
And I know they came out with a PR statement. For mm. me, the PR statement. Both mm. of them saying, oh, misunderstanding. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. What I know is that if that was my player and my manager or whatever, I would want that player dropped. I ain't saying sold in the summer or anything like that. Yeah. But the manager has to exert the authority. Mm. And we already know. How long for? Would, as long as the manager sees fit until mm. he feels that his authority is now being respected. Because if he doesn't, players are just going to get away with anything. And we know at Chelsea already, players seem to get away with murder yeah. anyway. Yeah. And it's always the manager. We know Sarri's under so much pressure that even for his own respectability, going to another job, mm. especially in this world of social media, everything shit, everyone in the world probably knows about this already now. Mm. He goes into another job. These players are going to take it for a fool. Mm. Oh, we can do what we want because X, Y, Z. Mm. I don't know. I think... Yeah. I think as well, just back on back on into the actual game um, in that in that moment. For me personally as well, if I was a manager in that moment and I still wanted that substitution to happen, John Moss, mm-hmm. don't start the play. Don't don't do it. Yeah. Like, do not blow your whistle up the play because I'm making substitution. Make Why do are you get? What do you mean you can't? Oh, the balls out of play. I'm, I'm going to make the substitution. Balls out of play. You're but not- in the official rule book, it says if a player doesn't want to come off, play must go on. I that's, in the, that's, that's in the that, that's in the rule book. I saw it. I, just, I saw it this morning. They were discussing it. It was in the rule book. The guy was in like in section like two point six or whatever. It says if a player does not want to come off, play must go on. The referee cannot halt play to force the player off the pitch. Play must go on and resume. So that's maybe what like when John Moss went over, but he, he could have been saying yeah, he's, he, he can't come off, so I can't. Yeah, he said it's in it's in the rule book. Like, <laughs> that's why um, no. for me. <laughs> John Moss should not start the But play. for me, but he John, has to. No, no, no. He has to. <laughs> what do you mean? He's in the rule ball. He yeah. can't stop when playing. When the ball goes out of play again, you stay in there, put the ball up again, and you're coming off. Personally, <laughs> like, is it, personally, if, not, me, you just, if, from, if that's my decision. If, if I'm a manager yeah. at that point, and as, especially if it's a tactical mm. decision, I'm stepping onto that pitch. Like, I'm not, I'm not going off the kept up. I'm stepping onto that pitch. Mm. Substitution being made. You can send me off as well. Because if you can't remove the, the player, you can't physically remove yeah. me either. So, she was coming or, I'm, or I'm calling my captain over. Yeah, I'm sir. calling my captain. Sir. 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 Look, I come here. Go. Kepa in Spanish. In Basque. Get, get <laughs> off the pitch. But now I want him on the pitch. <laughs> Tell him it's tactical, whatever you have to do. But time to get off the pitch. Like, I don't want him on the pitch anymore for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm whatever manager. It is. The play isn't restarting. I'm not having it. Get him off the pitch. Like, he, like for me, it's it's a bit of like, okay, he's, he's disobeying your authority. Now you take the next step. Like, you step up your level. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like and Matt, I get obviously in the heat of the moment, he's the, he's he's probably so surprised, he's not sure what to do. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's running around. We've never seen him in yeah. line so, I understand. In, you know, I'm not blaming Sorry because it happened in the heat of the moment. It's not your fault that it's happened. Um, and this is all in hindsight of what he maybe if he maybe he would have been like. Ah, oh, if I just told you, yeah, I could have done it. Da, 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 da. But like, and the fact that he almost went down the tunnel and come back up, it just makes it look like a bit of like he was just so bad. Yeah, he was. Like, he he's like, couldn't work out. Yeah, he's like, even even like after after the game, John Terry's in the studio saying, "Yeah, if I'm manager, um, it's happening. Like the subs definitely happening. Like mm. even though he's saying no, I'm making sure the subs happening. And then company, and it, and it asks company afterwards. They go company. Have you ever seen that before? He starts cracking up. He goes, "Boy, listen. I mean, if I could tell the manager to give me another twenty minutes, I would every game." <laughs> <laughs> and that's the point. That is the point right it's there. Mockery. Because <laughs> if okay, now that's happened. Where do we go from here? Where does Sari go from? Here? He can't mm. tell unless if unless Kevin's punished. He can't tell these players anything anymore. He can't. Mm. If if because all of them come with the same mindset. No, I'm doing what I want. Yeah. Then like mm. where, you can't. You can just, Ball goes up. Nah, rule book two point zero. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> no, and it, it, it takes me back. Similar. It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar to the um. Ab- Ab- God, how do you say his name? Abu Bakr Kamara from uh, Fulham. Mm. When the penalty was supposed to be taken by Mitrovic, mm. he takes it. Didn't it? We ain't seen him since. I think mm. then he got sold. Mm. So. Obviously, Ranieri stands with authority there because, mm. like, I don't care whether we're, we're playing bad, I'm losing games, whatever. I'm the manager. Mm. If I get sacked, it's because of my decision, yeah. not because of your decisions. Yeah. If I stay in the job, it's because of my decision, not because of your decisions. Mm. So, Kamara uh, disobeyed, blatantly disobeyed the manager's authority, mm. even from that point. Because Ranieri was basically from the um, 
sidelines saying, you know, yeah. Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell. The man, it, to be fair, the, uh, Captain Tom Kearney was over there and between him and Mitchell Rich, they allowed yeah. camera reluctant to take it. He missed, um, which just added more insult to it. But Ranieri stated in the press conference, there's no PR going on there, mm. that basically that's unacceptable and they're going to deal with it. Mm. Even though Fulham went on to win the game anyway, because Mitchell yeah. scored in the 90th minute. Yeah. The, for me, it's it's a, it's a, it's a it's a principle. Yeah, result or not, it's a principle. Stand by it. And, and, and Ranieri like, did that. Sarri's job is hanging in the balance <laughs> anyway. And for you to make a decision, you're making a decision that could potentially win your cup final. <laughs> and, and potentially cost his job. Yeah. Or, 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 or this is all hindsight. But for me, if Caballero comes on, I think Chelsea will win the penalty shootout. I think so. I, I think, think so. I just think they'll win it. I, I mean, so. this is, like, listen, it does, it, 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 I can't say away. that, man. Can, I can't <laughs> say that, for, for sure. Definitely not. <laughs> but I think so. Imagine the mindset of Man City players getting into it. Your whole game, you're thinking you're going to shoot against Kepa. But you're playing that that second half of that extra time already thinking, Wonder Cameron's. where am I going to go? Where is he going to go? Da, 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 da. All of a sudden, Caballero's coming on. The guy you've been training against, the guy who won you a cup final, being a go- your goalkeeper. All the City players said at the time, Willy, Willy, Willy. They were getting mad for Willy because he, he won on the penalty shootout. <laughs> for you to now step up against me, for me, the mind games have been won there, there and there yeah, Chelsea. Yeah. And then Kepa, to go on like you're a bad man, to Aguero, <laughs> and start trying to talk to him before he takes his penalty kick, like, I know you're going to go da 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 chatting to him, he puts it the same way you go, and you let it go underneath <laughs> you. Oh, you're poor. Poor from you there, bro. Everything you messed up, then you made one good save, yeah. and you lost the penalty shootout. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for me, like, usually in penalty shootouts, it's like, uh, then the keeper is our hero, yeah. um, and they can't be the villain, basically. Yeah. But for me, Kepa's a villain, isn't it? Yeah, he's Because villain. he, like, he guess he didn't miss any penalties, but he shouldn't have been there in the first place. Yeah. He, it's literally like, if, say Ronaldo's taking the last penalty, mm. and the next man just ran up behind and take it instead. I know that's not allowed because you've got the five penalty takers, but it's like, say you took it, oh yeah, okay, someone took it. Y- y- you have ruined it. You yeah. shouldn't be there. Yeah. Kepa shouldn't have been there, innit? He but been there. Mm. we'll see. I, you know, and... I've was i I've been backing managers in terms of, you know, um, not being sat mid season like and right now I'm backing Sarri even more because mm. for me, I know we're in an era of, you know, we talk about player power and it's not just to do with Chelsea, a lot of places, some people even talk about Manchester United, etc. Pogba, Mourinho. But even if that happened at Manchester United, there, there would be many United fans out there who'll be backing Pogba because Mourinho doesn't know what he's doing, um he's you know, he's poised and etc. Et I don't think Pogba would do anything like that personally because he's had so many issues with Mourinho but he's been dropped from teams Sevilla Liverpool etc I ain't seen man man still turns up to the game mm. I ain't seen man run into the pit now nah, I'm playing I'm mm. playing because mm. he's, he's got that respect but if any one of my players did that I'm backing the manager regardless yeah. of results I don't have care to, have to. I don't care but yeah, we'll see what what happens with uh, Sarri Kepa and Chelsea it's a big week mm.